Hey, I love all your plants. I don't think they're uh, being stored right now. <laughs> oh, gotcha, gotcha. So, um, yeah, stuff you use when you do your design. That are... Yeah, so this is a little sneak peek of all the lovely things that would go into uh, your home staging. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, so, for those of you who are less familiar with my uh, prior post with Chameleon Staging and this is Lindsay here, the chief boss lady at Chameleon Staging. Um, hi. <laughs> Lindsay comes into homes and makes them beautiful for, for selling. So it's her job to not just design, but to design for a broad audience, to design, to motivate people to not just say like, hey, you got a beautiful house, but like, I want to buy it. And that is exactly why I asked her to come on we're, I'm going to do a short series of interviews with people with things you can be doing while you're stuck at home. And, <laughs> and Lindsay is here to talk to us today about some projects that are easy to take on to make your space feel a little bit more livable and up to, if you are looking to sell it, how to make it more marketable. So, yeah, exactly. So, you know, because right now everybody's stuck at home with the stay at home order and everybody's thinking, you know, I've just, I've got to change the space. I'm seeing it too often. And so um, just a couple of little things that you can do to freshen up the space and potentially get ready for selling um, is everybody talks about decluttering, decluttering. But sometimes it's hard to declutter some things because they kind of are necessary. So um, what I'll kind of talk about is organizational things that hold in the clutter and make it, um, you know, a little bit easier to move around and shift. Uh, so for example, um, like the coffee tables, you know, it's constantly filled with remotes and devices and magazines and things like that. So a really simple solution is getting a large tray and uh, kind of making little organizational uh, cubbies for them. So that's where you can keep your remotes, that's where you can keep your tablets. And then if uh, customer, um, customers, if guests come over or potential buyers, it's really easy to pick up that tray and move into a different room and then all of a sudden now you have a nice clean space. So it's, it's, almost, like a, it's almost like a college shower caddy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Except it's a little bit nicer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like presentable. Oh, presentable. Exactly, because it's all just about um, making life easy for you. Because I mean, especially now that we basically like live in our homes twenty four seven, and especially <laughs> people with kids, um, things can get out of hand really, really quickly. And so that's just a simple way to kind of keep everything pushed together, and then um, simple solutions for moving it around. I love that one. I love that one. And if for whatever reason you're doing, say, social calls online, right? Like maybe you're doing a happy hour, you can move that stuff out of the way. Or if you're like us and you're doing a live video, you can move that stuff out of the way. So. <laughs> exactly. You know, good habit now for later. It's like not wearing pants uh, for like your Zoom meetings and stuff. It's business up top, and then no one else needs to see the rest. Oh, totally. I, if this continues, I totally want to start a series called like lipstick and sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> Up here, not showing you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, that's an awesome tip. What else you got for us today? Um, so other things that you can do, uh, and this isn't really so much home decorating as is just like home improvement is um, mm -hmm. simple, simple things like wiping down the baseboards. Um, so just like a magic eraser, even honestly, most of the time, just like a wet cloth and getting on your hands and knees and getting those baseboards. Cause most of the time the trim is painted in a white or a light color. Mm -hmm. And especially down on the floor, it does get a lot of grime and dirt and dust and mud and just as like wiping away that that surface gunk really brightens up the house and those little details those little trim outs really make a difference when you see the difference in the brightness and it makes the whole home look I mean takes on a whole different look so um, that's another very simple very easy and also really uh, you know effective way to improve your home um, I really recommend that I try to do that uh once a month Oh, good for you. Yeah. Good for you. So I kind of have to. <laughs> yeah. So if you're running out of things to clean in your house, don't forget the trim. Exactly. Yeah, because it's something you don't even really notice. You know, it's on the floor. Um, it's not something that, like, you interact with, really. But yeah. like I said, it really does make a difference by cleaning that up. If you've ever had a house cleaning service come to your house and you walk in and it just feels 
so different and you can't figure out why, That's chances right. are that it's trim or, yeah. or windows or same thing with like blinds or like slatted shuttered closets, any of that stuff. Right. It's, okay. just, it, That's it's like all real order secrets coming out. But yes. I, I'm not saying I do it all the time, but you can. Oh, yeah. So. I mean, the, you would be surprised the amount of dust that gets on things. And like, same with, you know, chair, uh, chair railings or wainscoting, the little architectural details on your walls, that kind of stuff also. Just a wet cloth, wipe it down, and you would be surprised at the difference. Yeah. Uh, and if you have children, you can get them involved because it's really funny. <laughs> Put those things to work. Um, <laughs> exactly. Thank you. That's super great. What else you got? Sorry, I don't want to keep. So another thing that you could do um, to fresh look the space without actually spending any money, um, especially right now because we can't go shopping, is uh, honestly changing out the throw pillows. So you might have a couple throw pillows in the living room, maybe one or two on the bed, maybe in a guest room, and just swapping those out. Obviously, uh, you know, if the color and the patterns allow, swapping those out and freshening up the space and, um, you know, giving it like a little bit of change, it's going to make you feel like you really have have done something very different and it costs nothing and it's so easy to do. I mean, you're literally just swapping out pillows, but it really is like an effective way to kind of change the environment. And I think that that's something we're all looking for right now as you're seeing the same thing over and over again and you want to just, you want to freshen up, you want to look at something different. Um, so that's another really easy, and the same thing goes with throw blankets. If you've got, you know, uh, like a teal throw blanket or a white throw blanket, any kind of thing like that, just putting it over your um, sofa and giving it a different texture, that also really, really helps. I love it. So mix it up. You're saying take yeah. what you've already got and move it around. Exactly. And yeah. it's like bedding, you know, sometimes the bedding in your guest room can be switched out with the bedding in your master and all of a sudden you walk into it and it's like, oh, wow, I feel like a whole new place. Oh, that's a great idea. And if you have been the sort of person that's just been living on your couch, yes. that, might, that might really help you out. Like move your, switch your candles, and exactly. like switch your job like whatever you can do to throw it out, put the bed back in the room, mm -hmm. uh, get, that, get that going. And that's, that's great. Sorry, go ahead, Lindsay. No, well, I'm just saying, like, that's kind of the whole thing is in order to kind of stay sane and still like your house by the end of this, those are like three really, really easy changes, decluttering, a little bit of um, cleaning, and then just swapping out existing stuff that you already have. That's honestly my three main takeaways for, mm -hmm. you know, uh, one, just making your space you know, somewhere where you want to be. And then two, just in case you decide that you want to put your house in the market after all of this, or even during all of this, because the real estate market really hasn't, that's a really good, uh, easy oh. way to do that. Completely. And I'm glad you touched on that because we're finally getting statistics in um, on the city. We've had all these numbers, but they haven't been en enough numbers to be statistically significant. But we are seeing understay in place um, a little bit more of, I don't want to say a full out seller's market, but turning that way because people have said, I'm not with my house and I am going to remove it. And that is creating less supply. So buyers that have to buy something have less to choose from. They're motivated because they have to move. Yeah. And I've seen results of far less negotiating and all of that nonsense. It's just nice, clean. I saw your house online. I'm super motivated. I really want to check it out inside. And those deals are happening. And they may not, if you're thinking of listing your home or thinking about sitting and waiting on it, list it now because we don't know what's going to happen and we can always take it back. But right now is good. Interest rates are great. Consider listing your house. And if you are thinking about listing your house now um, and you do have an opportunity, say you're not living there, you want to switch things up or move your stuff out, you can change it still. So I know you guys are still working. Yeah, I actually um, might be staging a house on Monday. So um, even if people still can't come to, uh, you know, showings or people still are coming to showings, they're just being a lot more careful about it and mm -hmm. more picky about which ones they go to, you know, virtual tours, as you know, um, and pictures, the staging, that's like the whole point of staging is first impressions. And your first impression is going to be on the MLS or on the um, internet. 
um, always, but especially more so now. So having um, having the house staged really, really helps with people since most of the time they're not going to the property or at least not going to the property as much in the initial searching period. You really want to provide a plate, like a place of reference. So, oh, they have a couch in here. So I kind of can visualize and understand exactly the room dimensions. Totally. And if you're thinking of listing your home, you really are doing video tours. So that means I can take a look at your house. Lindsay can take a look at your house. We can talk about what you should be thinking about doing if you're not comfortable listing out your way. Right. Yeah. That's fun. really cool. I mean, I'm not looking for a house right now and I still go on virtual tours and just check it out because it's fun. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I would add to that. Uh, <laughs> There's a reason people aren't checking out Instagram a ton right now. They're stuck at home, like we're stuck at home. So getting in front of those pictures and things, I really going to put you out in front of the herd when this is done and people just want to want to all post. I anticipate it's going to happen um, at a pretty good volume and at the same time. So yeah. Yeah, well, you're the professional, you would know. So I trust your, uh, I trust all your advice. <laughs> it's what I'm seeing. It's what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing, and not just like anecdotally from a couple other brokers, but I've done the deep dives and done some recent comps and looked at, huh, this is more favorable right now to yeah. some sellers than it has been. So yeah, that's awesome. Uh, any other hidden tips up your sleeve? Stay sane. While oh. we're stuck in well, I guess like going back to the plants and things like that, um, yeah. a lot of nurseries are still open. Um, so support local and go to your different, um, you know, go to different nurseries and things like that. And freshen up your space with like a little succulent or, um, you know, an, a simple palm tree. You know, there's a lot of tropical plants that don't require a ton of work. So if you don't have a green thumb, like I definitely do not, um, you know, succulents and things like that are a really nice way to bring in some outside plants freshness, uh, some color into your space, and they're, you know, really easy to like keep up with and take care of. And they're also easy to change. So if you've got a little succulent, you put it in a pot, you can move it from your kitchen to your bathroom. And, you know, like I said, kind of freshen up the space and moving different pieces without spending money is another really great way. So I recommend 100% little house plants, even if they're fake, because now people make uh, like fake plants that you really cannot tell that they're fake. Absolutely. And I love that because I don't remember whether the science was conclusive, but if you talk to your plants, they're supposed to do better, right? I know so. that. Yeah, like plants grow more if they hear like classical music and like, and I, and I don't know where I read this either, but going back off what you said, there was a study that said like, if you talk nice to your plants, they grow. And then if you were mean to them, weirdly enough, they had like, like slower growth patterns and like more diseases or something like that. So positive, you know, communication even for plants don't argue in front of your plants <laughs> protect the plants and yeah we're not suggesting you go full captain and listen no. on your plants I'm sure we're all do what you gotta do <laughs> i'm sure we're all teetering on that mental break but let's stay strong and the way that we can stay strong is by keeping your space fresh keeping your space clean and um you know keeping your space decluttered so wipe down those baseboards get an organizational tray get a couple house plants and switch up that uh switch up your throw pillows and your bedding i love that i love that so get organized put things into little sets or groups or trays yeah marie kondo <laughs> marie kondo the heck out of your house clean down anything that's white and bright or clear because it will help a lot oh yeah and be nice to your plants <laughs> Stainless steel appliances, you don't realize like how many handprints they get until you take a picture and you're like, oh my gosh, like it looks like a finger painting on there. There you go. And little things. And then you can involve the whole family. Yeah. So, exactly. And you know, take clips, put it on TikTok, make it a game. I don't know. Have, have fun with it. But um yeah, so if someone is considering um taking a further step and they're just they're just done with their house and um they wanna sell it, contact me if you want to stage it. And I do recommend that. And we have a whole video on why it's worth the cost and often you get that money back and then some. How can people reach out to you, Lindsay? 
Um, so you can follow me on Instagram. It's uh, at chameleon staging. And you can also uh, email me chameleon staging at gmail.com. Um, and, you know, I've got a website, chameleonhomestaging.com. So it's pretty easy. Just kind of Google it. And chameleon is C H A M E L E O N. I know that's a pretty hard word to uh, spell. So, yes, they're the little color changing critters. Exactly. Oh, we're hearing right. There is no like startup weird spin on that name. It is straightforward. <laughs> Very much so. Take it. Well, thank you so much for your time. And it's always a pleasure speaking with you. And you guys stay sane, stay safe, stay healthy out there, and be kind to your plants. <laughs> and do what you got to do. And we're here for you in the meantime. Um, I am answering calls. So feel free to call and ask questions to one or either of us. So thank you so much. Take care. Bye, Lisa.